What is going on guys, it is DrummerBoy135 here, and as an open the title, I'm going to show you guys how you can record and live stream your computer screen for free, so hope you enjoy! Alright guys, so in some of my previous videos, I told you guys that the way how I record and live stream is with XSplit Broadcaster, but I actually have another way of recording and live streaming. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get this application called Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS for short. If you want to get it, I will put the link in the description so you guys can go download it, and it is 100% free. I am positive. Um, I think I got a comment in, on one of my Q&A videos saying uh, somebody said Exploit wasn't free, but I promise that OBS is free, 100% free. Anyway, what you want to do is after you download it, you want to open it up obviously <laughs> and you should see a window that looks like this um so this is where the magic happens this is where you record and live stream um so you don't need anything else you basically just need a, a computer um a webcam if you want to do like face cam or whatever um and you know this app just a monitor just this window <laughs> um and pro possibly a microphone so if you want your viewers to hear you anyway what you want to do is right here where it says scene uh, by the way, what scenes are is, it's hard to explain, but it lets you, like, switch screen, sort of. It lets you, like, switch your recording setup, sort of. Um, it's hard to explain, but, um, anyway, right here where it says scene, there's going to be a box next to it that says sources. So what you want to do is, right in this box, you want to right-click on your mouse, and right here it's going to say add. And what you want to do is you want to hover your mouse over add, and it's going to give you this selection of choices. So um, let me just go through them uh, for you guys. So what window capture is, is it's fairly simple. It just records your screen. Um, it lets you record where you want to record on your screen. Um, yeah, it just records your window, window screen, your monitor screen. Well, no, that's probably monitor capture. I don't know what monitor capture is, but um, there are other tutorials on YouTube on uh, what those things are. Uh, image and image slideshow. Image is like if you want to put any pictures on your videos or live streams, like maybe in the corner or something for like decoration or whatever. <laughs> that sounded a little weird. Um, anyway, image slideshow. I actually never tried that out. I think it's just like it just lets you do an image slideshow <laughs> on your videos and live streams. Text is um you can um put text on your videos. So like if you wanted to say like your YouTube name or something in the corner while you're recording a live stream, it will be pretty cool. Uh, video capture device. That's if you have like a webcam or something. So if you want to live stream or record, you could um you could use that as a face cam. Um, and game capture is simple as well, it just records your game, so if you want to record, like, Turbo Dismount or Minecraft or whatever, um, game capture will, will be what you would use. <laughs> um, so let me just demonstrate on one of them. I'll demonstrate on video capture device. So it's going to say, whenever you click on one of these selections, it's going to say, please enter a name. Uh, this is optional, but uh, I'm just going to name it something. I'm just going to name it Hi. Um, <laughs> Um, so then once you do that, it's gonna look something like this. Well, it's actually gonna look like this if you're, if you clicked on video capture device. So right here it says device. It's gonna give you a selection of the webcams that you use. If you, once again, if you don't have any webcams, then you cannot use this, I don't think, um, to do face cam or whatever. Um, but, you know, it gives you a selection of the webcams you have. So, uh, I'm just gonna do a demonstration of... Web webcam C1110, so I do that, um, and right over here where it says audio, audio input device, this is where, um, what, um, like, audio you want to use, what microphone you want to use when you're talking to your webcam or something like that, um, so I, right now I'm using Logitech USB microphone, so I'm just gonna select that, and right here, it can, um, you can choose how loud or how soft you want the audio volume to be, uh, that's, basically it, custom resolution, I don't know if you could change that with webcams, um, it depends the, how um, HD your, how high definition <laughs> your, your webcam is, so, uh, sorry, that wording was kind of bad, uh, um, but you could change the resolution of your webcam right here, uh, so the highest mine can go is um, 1024 by 768, uh, by the way, you could change FPS, but once again, it depends on the webcam you're using. Um, anyway, 
basically that's basically it. So after you click OK, and right there it would say hi. So or or your title or your video capture device that you're using. So if you're not sure what it looks like, what you want to do is down here where it says preview stream, you want to click on that. Now don't think it's an actual stream. Uh, so there I am. Hello. Hi. Oh God, it's lagging. But um, anyway, this is just to preview what uh, the screen looks like before you start recording or live streaming. Um, so yeah, so what you want to do is, if you want to like change anything, you would click on this right here. Where see my mouse right here? It says edit scene. So you click on that, and then you could drag where you want your webcam to be, your face cam. So if you want it, oh God, sorry if it's laggy. So if you want it in this corner, you can put it in this corner when you're recording. If you want it in this corner or this corner or whatever. Um, so that's what you can do with edit scene. You could edit where you want to put things just before you record a live stream. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to all of you, because <laughs> I know I'm not making very sense. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, same with like other things like window capture and stuff like that. It would just record your screen and you could drag to if you want to make it smaller or bigger or where you want to put it on the screen. So that's basically that. Um, so what I want. Oh, and by the way, um, right here, uh, these are just like the the audio settings again. It's another version of the audio settings. So right here where it says no. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right here where it shows the microphone, this is like the microphone that you're using. Like, right now you guys are hearing me because I'm using a microphone. So, like, this is, well, no, duh. Uh, so, this is the, you could change the volume on um, the audio that you're recording with your microphone. Um, and right here, this is the desktop audio. So, like, if you're listening from your headphones or something, it'll pick up what you're listening to through your headphones. And right here, you can change the volume if you want it loud, if you want it muted. Um, and stuff like that. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention something because I didn't show you guys this. Um, if you're on, a, if you're using a Windows, if you if you're using a Windows computer when you download OBS, uh, you you'd have to click on Windows 7 and 8. Um, if you're using a Mac, I think it does work on Mac. Yeah, I think it does. Um, yeah, it works on Mac. Um, I don't know what you'd click on, but there's another box I think that says like Mac or PC. I've never tried it, so I apologize for those who are using Mac. But um, if you just go to the link in the description, it, there should be something that's for Mac that you can download for OBS. Uh, so next I'm going to get you guys into the settings. Um, so um, by the way, I'm not going to show you guys um, like how to live stream or anything like that because that's going to be way too hard and you know I don't want to do because I might have to do like an Oh, like a, another whole tutorial on how to live stream like if you want to live stream through YouTube or Twitch or something like that so I'd probably have to do that in another video uh, but there are other tutorials on YouTube that you can go check out on how you can live stream through open broadcaster software anyway um, up here you want to go to settings right here and you want to click on it and it's gonna say settings again you want to click on it and you should see a window that looks like this um, so right here, you're gonna. Right now, you're in the first box where it says General. Uh, so this is just like to get you started. If you're just new to OBS, like what language you want to use. So English. Uh, you know, like uh, I don't know what setting profile is. Um, I guess that's where your videos go or something like that. But um, yeah, that's basically that. Uh, so next, you go to Encoding. Um, oh yeah. So right here. So Encoding. I'm not very good with like these setting things, but um. There are probably other people on YouTube who are way better at this than I am, but I'm just here to get you guys started and the main point of this app um, application. Um, right here where it says quality balance, that's like how high you want the quality to be. Uh, so like 10. Uh, max bit rate, I think that like um, changes like the lagginess or something. I think a normal max bit rate would be at 3000. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, encoder. I, I don't think it really this matters, but I would suggest doing encoder 264. Um, anyway, that's that. So next you go into broadcast settings. Now this is how you can live stream. So right here it's going to say mode. And if you have it on file output only, it should look like this. So right here where it says mode, you want to click right here. And it's going to say live stream. And you want to click on that. Now it's gonna show you this. Now don't worry about this. Warning, warning. Your OBS settings are not optimized for that. Um, but you know, 
that'll, that'll get fixed once you uh, know how to live stream and stuff like that. So right here it says streaming service. This is where you want to live stream. So if you want to live stream through Twitch, you choose it at Twitch. If you want to live stream through YouTube, you do it to YouTube and, you know, etc. Um, and right here, play past the stream key, like you copy and paste the link of your stream or something like that, and that's the encoder that you would use to record. <laughs> Sounds kind of confusing. Um, video, next moving on to video, um, this is kind of also the same thing with uh, the quality, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, for right here, the base resolution should be at custom. Uh, so, for example, if you put it at 1920 by 1080, I, I, I would recommend doing that. Uh, right here it says resolution downscale. This is where you could change the uh, quality of your video or live stream. So, right here it says if you want to have it at 1080 HD, um, then you put it at none right there. If you want it at 720, you put it here. If you want it at 480, you put it here. If you want it at 360, you know, you get the point. Uh, FPS you could actually uh, change, surprisingly. Um, it's really good. I really enjoy OBS because it's free and it lets you do all these cool things, and it's pretty good. So the maximum you can go, the maximum FPS you can go up to is 60, as you can see. Um, and you can actually upload uh, videos and live streams to YouTube if you want to upload it to YouTube in 60 FPS because I think YouTube now allows 60 FPS. Um, so that's that. So next, moving on to audio. This is where what you want to record if you're talking or something like that or if you, if you wanted to hear the audio you're playing on your game or your computer so that would be desktop audio device so if you're using headphones while you're recording you would choose headphones so it can hear what you're listening to uh, and right here it says microphone auxiliary audio device that's if you want to do like commentary or something in your videos or live streams if you want your viewers to hear you while you're talking so once again I'm using microphone to Logitech USB microphone. If you don't have a microphone, then I, I'm sorry, but this will not work. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but, um, by the way, if you're using a laptop like I am, I'm using a Windows laptop. Um, there's actually a microphone that's built in to your laptop, so it will actually be your lucky day. Um, I don't know about other computers, but uh, hopefully good luck to you. <laughs> uh, Hotkeys, that's basically just, um, it's like, kind of like a button you would push, so... If you want to like start recording, you would hit uh, you would choose it to like F1 or something or D. Oh, hold on. Just, um, I change it to B. So if you put like B right there, once you click B, it would start recording. So it's like a neat little trick on how you can record it instead of actually clicking start recording and stuff like that. Oh, come on! Didn't mean to do that. All right, so uh, actually, I don't even think this stuff matters because um, I'm not very good with this stuff. Um, Microphone nose noise gate. I think that's just uh, what you want to hear. Like, um, if you want to test out what your microphone sounds like and stuff like that. Uh, so that's basically it for OBS. Um, so then, yeah, you click start recording and it would record what you put in. So, uh, so for example, let me do another demonstration real quick. So if you do like game capture, you do game capture. Okay, give it a name. Right here it says application. Um, if you have any games running, that's the game. It would uh, give you a selection of the what game you want to record. So, for example, say if you have Minecraft opened up, it would say Minecraft right there, and that's the game that it would record. Uh, right here where it says capture mouse cursor. That's if you want to have the mouse while you're recording or live streaming when you're playing the game. Uh, stretch image to screen. I recommend putting that on. I think that just like fits it to the screen. Oop! Hit my microphone. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, and right here, gamma. That's like how bright you want it to be when like it shows up. Um, stuff like that. So then you click OK. Apparently it's not working because I guess I'm recording with XSplit. But um, basically, yeah, that's it. So I uh, hope you guys really enjoy OBS. Um, click on the link in the description and you guys can go download it yourselves for 100% free. So anyway, that is the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'll be making more tutorials in the future. And peace, guys. Later. Woo!